Many of us hold a 9 to 5 job for a living. We spend a large chunk of our lives at work. It is important, therefore, to enjoy what we do and have things to look forward to every day in our jobs. Not everything is doom and gloom at work. There are certainly bright spots at the office that we can look forward to. Hi, we are Fran and John from the Corporate Breakout Couple. We both used to be corporate employees and worked for 17 and 15 years respectively. In 2020, we retired at the age of 40 in Singapore. In this video, we're going to share you the 7 happy things that employees look forward to at work. But before that, please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to make more videos for you. Number 1. Thank goodness it's Friday. <sighs> Monday morning. Uh. Hey, morning. <sighs> Good morning. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Good morning! Good morning! It's Friday! Hey, what are your plans for the weekend? Oh, I'm bringing my wife out for dinner tonight. Mm. And then on Saturday, I'm bringing her to Avatar too. Ooh, I also got a lot of plans. Hey, before we forget, uh, set timer for 6 p.m. later. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you also set, you also okay, set. Okay, I set, I set, I set. Okay, I'm done. Nine hours later. Three, Three two, one! one. Yay! Yeah. The scenario just now is exactly what I would do with my colleagues back then, minus the timer. We will take long lunches on Fridays and the mood is always generally happy and chirpy. Everyone is really excited to start the weekend early and conversations flow more. The exact opposite is true on Mondays. Whenever I enter the office, the mood is generally somber and pretty quiet. Friday is the one day out of the week that we are truly happy. Why? Because Friday is the day Yay! before the weekend. On Mondays, we look forward to Fridays. On Fridays, we look forward to the weekend. And on the weekends, we never look forward to Mondays. Therefore, we are actually not living in the present because we are always looking ahead. Here's a thought. What if you brought the same energy and attitude you have on Fridays to the rest of the weekdays? Instead of looking forward to the future, do give living in the present moment a try. The results might surprise you. Number two, planning your leave. Hey, don't disturb me. I'll be busy. Ah, okay, okay. This serious business. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven long weekends. Haha, <laughs> then go Southeast Asia. Okay, leave, leave, leave. How many days? Five days leave this year, carry forward. One extra day of leave because it's my eighth year. Wow, so long in a company. And. <laughs> 25 days! <laughs> hey, hey, we're in the office. Shh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. When I was an employee, planning my leave brings me great joy. I love how I can optimize my holidays and time it with travel deals to then get the best value for money options. Whenever there's a long weekend, I will take one extra day of leave to make it a short getaway to a nearby destination. This provides me short-term relief from the stress of work. We spend all this time and energy planning for our holidays, which offers short-term relief. Perhaps this energy can be directed towards your early retirement instead. This will offer you long-term gains in terms of mental, emotional, and financial well-being. Of course, you can still go ahead and plan your holidays. However, every holiday you take now using your earned income takes you further away from your retirement goals. Number three, travel holidays. Finally, I get to go on my deserved break to the Maldives. What a beautiful paradise! Pristine clear water, soft white sand, and a mojito in my hand. Oh yes, there's an email that I wanted to reply to my boss when I boarded the plane earlier. Yes, no data service, the Wi-Fi here sucks. <laughs> they cannot contact me unless it's an emergency. Well, I guess it's not so important after all. Now, where did I put that mojito? By the way, that really happened in Maldives. I was planning to handle a few important matters during the first two days, but I didn't because the internet was bad, right? So it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. How often do you sacrifice part of your holidays in order to get work done? The work will always be there when you get back, but the moments you spend with your loved ones during the holidays will be gone. If you do not take the time to create moments with them, how would you then have memories to look back upon? An article reveals the top 5 regrets that people make on their deathbed and coming up at number 2 
is people wish they didn't work so hard. Number four, lunch and tea breaks. Yay, it's lunch time. Hey, where are we going to eat? Huh? Faster, 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 let's go, let's go. Don't waste time, leh. must make full use of our lunch hour, our entitlement, no? Ooh, it's 4 p.m. Tea break. Hey, come on, let's head to the pantry. I heard uh, someone bought cupcakes. Faster, 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 let's go before uh, it's all gone. Faster! For me, lunch break has always been the highlight of my working day. I make sure I squeeze every single minute out of it because it is my time. At least, that was how I saw it. Nothing work related will ever come in between me and my lunch break. I also took any opportunity to go for tea breaks or have chit chats by the water cooler. Oh, back then when I was doing outdoor sales, I would waste time by going for coffee with an acquaintance in between sales appointments. As employees, we are contractually bound by the company to fulfill certain number of hours each week. However, if you notice, people like to run down the clock by either coming in late for work, going for cigarette breaks, extended lunch breaks or numerous tea breaks. All in the name of taking a break. However, what most people don't realize is that you're actually wasting your own time. It became very clear to me when I broke out of corporate. I became extremely protective of my own time and I don't simply waste it by just meeting simply anyone. The reason is because now my time is truly my own and I really want to make every single moment count. Honestly, this is a very difficult point to put across because you will really have to experience this time freedom for you to really fully understand it. So I urge you to get your work done in the allotted company time and then use the rest of your time productively. Number 5. Corporate Trainings John, you have yet to fulfill your training hours for the year. Please log in now to book your slots. Are the trainings in the company or off-site? Well, most are external vendors, so off-site. Okay, okay, thank you. Yes! Yay, no need to work today. Wow, look at all the food. What time does training end today? 4 p.m. Yeah! Actually, because I was in sales, I do get invited by external vendors to their training a lot. Yes, the food is often fantastic, and the trainings usually end early. But the truth is, all these trainings took time away from me to do my actual sales. As much as I love attending all these sessions and waste time, my time to do actual sales is actually lesser. Seeing that you are bound by the company to fulfill these training hours, you have a choice. You can either choose to simply attend any training that adds little to no value to your role, or you can choose to attend trainings that adds maximum value to your role and also apply this skill set to the other parts of your life. Since you are already there physically at the training, don't just go through the motions for the sake of clocking in the hours. Participate fully and make full use of your time. There is always something to learn. Number six, team building. Woo! Well, today no need work, huh? Yeah. We play all day in the sun at Sentosa. I love team building. Boss, the best lah. Yeah, this kind of work day is the best. We got the sun, the sand, and the sea. And best is tomorrow is Saturday. Hopefully, it ends early today. Then I can go and play my football in the evening. Personally, I love team building days. I get to have fun and be crazy with my colleagues and most of us go back having a great time. Being a good sport and joining in the team fun goes a long way. Team building activities are built for a purpose. They are meant to build team cohesiveness, foster relationships and boost morale. By being active as a participant, you capitalize on opportunities to learn more about your team and how you can work better with them. This kind of session shows your commitment to the team as the focus is no longer on you as an individual but how you work together as a team. Number 7. Company Retreat Best, best, best. I love company retreats. I wonder where we are going. Hey, I heard it's going to be in Japan this year, you know? Wow, the company made so much money this year. I think so. Anyway, you better check your schedule. In case clash, then how? Cannot oh. go eh. Then you'll miss a free trip to Japan, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better go and check my schedule now. Oh, yeah. In my 15 years of corporate career, I was lucky to have gone on several company retreats. Some local, some overseas. During the retreats, I must admit there are some sessions filled with corporate agenda that I didn't enjoy. But I did enjoy the bonding time outside of a work environment together with my colleagues. 
It is on these retreats that I get to know some of my colleagues on a personal basis and we are friends till today. Fran and I are still in contact with many of our ex-colleagues and it is important for us to keep these relationships alive. If you have watched our hawker video, which I'll share in the link below, you will have seen the tremendous support from our ex-colleagues who came to support us on our hawker journey. And for that, we are very touched and grateful. We hope you enjoyed our videos. We love making videos which are fun and educational. Do let us know what kind of videos you would like us to make for you in the future. Type them below. Do hit the like button for this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it will help us to create more videos like this for you.